Greetings family, Bomani Tamba here family and we are here in Prom Prom and this is our beautiful sister Erna Casa house from Detroit to Prom Prom, you know how we're doing it. Connecting you live on the Ghana, May 2023, Journey of a Lifetime. And here's our sister. Yes, mathematics. And New York, we've been 35 years. Yeah, MTV used to have a show called Cribs, and uh, we got to call this one something a little different, but we want to call this one Erna. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the name of my property is called Edeniso by the Sea. I love it, there you go. Eden, Edeniso by the Sea. E-A-D-A-N-I-S-O. It stands first two letters of my name, Erna, my oldest son, Derek, D-A, my second son, Nicholas, and my daughter, Sosina. So, Edeniso by the Sea. And I guess what I want to start you off by telling you is that one thing, it's really lovely living here by the sea. Close it up so they won't go out, please. Oh, thank you. Close the door so the dogs won't go out. Close the gate. Close it, close it. He's in another world. Yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good luck with that one. Put your tools. It's on? Hello? Okay. So uh, I want to start off by telling you it's really lovely living by the sea, but it's here, they say, is one of the saltiest uh, areas of the ocean in the world. So um, I end up painting about every three years here because I buy the best paint you can buy, but about every three years, and this is the time of the year now that uh, it's time for me to paint again. So if you decide to buy land and live here by the ocean, just know you have to be prepared for everything. Uh, the other day we had a really bad, bad storm, wind storm. Oh, sorry. We had a really bad uh, wind storm and the wind did a lot of damage. Well, not a lot, but it did enough damage around here. So. Uh, if you come back next year, all of this will be looking so much nicer. I promise you. So again, I'd like to welcome you all to Edeniso by the Sea. And um, I'll take you right in. I'm not going to, I remember when he first bought the first group over and I said something and I still remember he said a couple of, so, some things that whenever I would say. Yeah, you don't have to repeat it. It's all good. That was funny though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So um, this is it. We're working on trying to get things together. We had some, I had some hedges out here that turned into trees. I didn't know they were going to be trees. And so we just had, I had them cut down and um, dug up so that, because there, those hedges and trees really damaged the wall out here. When I first got land out here, I didn't put up a wall. And then all of the uh, goats that were out here were coming in and eating up everything. And so I went ahead on and put up a wall. And then just recently after my neighbor here built a nice tall wall. If you look over here, you can see my wall originally was a short wall. And so uh, after he built a, long, a taller wall, then I decided to raise mine as well. Um, and uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a really good uh, workers who came out and did the yard, so they uh, the wall. So I have to find someone else different to come in and do better work. That's one of the things you have to always be cautious of is when you're deciding to move here and build that you try to make sure you get the very best builders that you can find. The very best ones. Some are really good and some are you think that they're good and someone else say oh use this person you find out they're really bad and uh, won't come back and finish your work. Oh, oh, oh. Please be careful. Please, please, please. So um, that's something that you have to keep in mind if you decide that you want to come in, come and stay. So please excuse what it's looking like now. It doesn't always look like this. Oh, that's okay. Uh, as and, I said. And this is the express version because our, our, our sister literally made time out of her busy schedule, so we appreciate you. Oh, well, I'm, I'm happy that you all decided to come. Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, it's a great invitation. Uh, so, family, uh, if you plan to live by the sea, you, know, you have to be prepared for more maintenance than living further away from the sea. That, this is a prime example. And then, so you're showing the example based on the, uh, the, the rust marks on the... Uh, all of this, if you live by the ocean here, you have to be really very, very careful about um, making sure probably every other every other year you have to make sure that you're painting and taking care of everything. Yeah, because I went to Usafi House one time and I couldn't record down there. 
everything was rusted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's the that. difference um, for, for those who put more time into doing the maintenance. So living by the ocean is nice, but you better be prepared for some maintenance. So if we didn't learn, if we didn't learn anything on this recording, you drink that is wrong. You rob. I rather live in rust. I didn't know that. Uh, I thought I was leaving, so I closed up all of the windows. So it's a bit warm in here. So that would just only motivate us, motivate us to make certain moves. <laughs> Africa was actually 43, uh, 42 years ago. And I've had the opportunity to go to 18 African countries in the last 42 years. So a lot of the, um, in fact, all of the artifacts, the African art that you see here uh, are a result of the different African countries that I've gone to. And so I've been collecting art actually for even a little bit before I even went to Africa. So this is a uh, collection of the various African countries I've been to, and um, just, you know, picking up art over the years, and one of the things that I enjoy doing. Is anyone else coming in? No. Oh, you cannot come in. Okay. She'll come in anyway. So, this is Ida Niso by the sea. You can take a look around. Uh, well, one of the things I'd like to show you is, um, if you look at the stools that are here, for instance, they were uh, a different kind of stool. I had the, well, there's a book that's called Wicker World, and in Wicker World, if you may know of it, they had this dining room set here, and it cost $3,500 with six chairs. I took the paper out, I took the page out and took it to... And I took it to uh, someone here that does wicker and bamboo, and I had it made for $600 with eight chairs. Now that's been some time ago. That's been some time ago, so you can't come in and expect for it to look the same. The chair, this here was a stool here. These were stools. These were stools, and I decided I wanted to do something. These were some stools that I had made before, some over there, and then I decided I wanted to do something a little different with it, so I asked if he could have put a back on it so that I could have it turned into like a regular chair. And so that's what he did. And the same one who did these chairs uh, did my dining room set. Uh, it has two, uh, has two bases under it, and uh, like I said, it was $3,500 in Wicker World, and I paid $600 uh, to have it done, along with the buffet over there as well. Mm -hmm. It's a bit hot in here because I thought I was going to be gone, and gone until later on. I wasn't sure if it was going to rain, so I closed up the windows. The pictures that you see over here on the wall over here, I had an artist in the Gambia to make those for me. Uh, so he made all of the ones that look basically the same. I wanted them to do the village life, and so that's that's what he did. Are most of the houses around here this time? Mm, probably not. What's that? Is this like forty two hundred? Uh, it's about uh, four thousand five hundred. Uh, actually, I built this house only this big because I had planned on using it as a bed and breakfast. But uh, I found out that it wasn't very easy to use it as a bed and breakfast, finding the right help, people being there uh, for you when you really needed somebody to come in and work for you. So uh, I did it for a little while and then it became too tedious, so I decided not to do it. So um, 
the kitchen and everything that's in here. I had someone to come in. Uh, he did all of the cabinets here. Someone that works here, uh, starts a brother here that does woodwork. He did the kitchen and he also did the staircase. Um, I didn't want I didn't want uh, tiles on the border of the of the bottom of the wall, and so I asked him to do wood molding on the bottom. So he did wood molding for me here. Yes, and the door that you may see over here, you can come on over here. That's it. Uh, Mercy, please come and open up the window. It is burning up in here. Uh, the doors over here that you see over here, I saw this glass years ago, uh, the piece of glass, I saw it out and I went and bought it and the same one who made the staircase, he also did the door, the doors for me and put the glass in it. Uh, the furniture that you see is all covered up, it came here practically new but because it's been here for a while and because of the uh, because of the salt and everything, the leather has beginning to dry up. So it's my intentions. So sorry. It's my intentions to probably get it reupholstered. And um, I'd like to just bring attention to this door that's over here. I had it special made with that Dinkra symbols in it. I wanted to have something with uh, a Dinkra symbols in it, so I had it special made. Uh, there are a total of seven bedrooms in the house. Ooh. Here's one over here. That's the master bedroom. That's huge. Uh, I wasn't expecting company, so please excuse what it's looking like in here. Uh, you've had this before, so keep it up. Don't, don't take it down. <laughs> oh, I gotcha. One of my favorite pictures of all time. And uh, there's a man, man woman child. Mm -hmm. This is my bedroom, which was initially. Oh, this, so this was a garage. Can I have everybody's attention, please come? Yes, see the highlights, yes. Open up the windows, please. As I was saying, this door I had special made with their Dinkra symbols on it. It's a nice, heavy wooden door. There are seven bedrooms in the house. Uh, seven bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms. Mm. Uh, this is my office that, uh, once again, I dare not open the door. <laughs> oh, 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 so what, what, was, what was modified from a garage? Was it the uh, bedroom uh, this or, is my or the office? This is my bedroom oh, yeah. here. So that was what's modified. It was a two and a half, two and a half car garage. Okay. Okay. And instead of doing it, because it was facing the ocean, I decided I won't waste this on a garage. So I turned this into my bedroom. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, this time you won't be able to see it. <laughs> <laughs> so let me take you upstairs quick. Please, can I have you all coming on upstairs? Let me get the others. And this is the view, family. 